All right, we are Handsome Phantom here live at PSX 2017. We're checking out Flipping Death. Um, it's nice to be here. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good, good. Well, tell us a little bit about your game. Flipping Death is a game about a girl called Penny. Okay. We're actually, quite early in the game, she dies. Okay. Uh, but uh, while well, she ends up on the other side, we call it the other side, uh, she gets a, jo a job as Death's temp. Um, so it's a really cool game where you are, there's actually two sides. It's kind of built in 3D on these flat lanes. Okay. And you can flip the world around. Oh, wow. And the cool thing about her is that uh, she gets these powers that she can possess humans. Okay. And when she does that, the whole world sort of flips around and you're in the living side. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. What, uh, what were your inspirations for making this game? Well, we started out with a game called Stick It to the Man, okay. uh, which looks a bit similar. And while, while we were doing it, it's kind of like this paper cutout look, you know. Right. While we were doing that, it was kind of funny. Somebody said, like, wouldn't it be fun if somebody was, like, drawing something on the, on the other side of the right. paper? And I was like, yeah, that would be kind of cool, <laughs> would you be know. Cool, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit too late, you know. Maybe we should right. do that in a different game. So we sort of developed it from there. And then, I mean, other inspirations are, like, you know, Tim Burton. Right. Uh, Beetlejuice, right. uh, all these kind of, I mean, I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that answers that question. I was wondering if there was outside of video games, you know, anything that inspired yeah, you. Definitely, definitely there a lot was. Of, lot of different stuff, you know, uh, a lot of comic books. Right. Uh, uh, but yeah, Tim Burton. I mean, I mean, also like Double Fine, Tim Schafer's work is yeah. a big inspiration too. Yeah, fantastic. Sure. Right. Yeah. Good. How long have you guys been working on the game? Oh, that's the question. It's, <laughs> it's sometimes it's. <laughs> Stick it to them, it was quite quick to do. This right. one took a bit, a bit longer to do. I think we worked on it for like two and a half years now. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. But it's almost done now. Almost so, done? Yeah. When should we expect a release on that? Uh, so we're looking at, we hope it's going to be March 2018. March 2018? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Will there be any physical copies of it out there? Or is it just we are be? actually okay. working uh, together uh, with it. I can't say it yet because it's not signed yet, okay. but we are working on it, on one for. Uh, for PlayStation 4. Okay. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, yeah. Okay. Will be available on other consoles, maybe in digital form if it's oh, not yeah. physical? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's coming out on basically all the platforms. All the platforms. Yeah. I don't know if you're allowed to say that here on the yeah, PSX. Well, <laughs> we can say it. I don't know if you can say it. <laughs> I can. No, yeah. it's coming out. I mean, it's coming out on Nintendo Switch. It's coming out on Xbox and PS4 and Steam, of course. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think any, the length of it, any idea like how long it takes to go through? Yeah, I think uh, last time we play, had a playthrough, it almost took seven hours. Seven hours? That's yeah. a good length. Yeah. Okay. So this, it's kind of cool because it's the main story you can do. You okay. help all these ghosts and you figure out the story about what happened to you, why did you die and all this stuff. But then there's all something we call challenges. Right. Because it was so fun to just play around in the world itself. Right. We added that to it, so there's all these sort of mini sort of challenges. If you add that to it, there's probably more than, you know, it's probably eight hours. Now, does that happen along the way, or is that more of an end game that after you beat it, then you go uh, off into challenges? It's kind of happening along the way. Okay. So you figure out if you play around with the ice cream guy, you realize, oh, wow, I could actually smear ice cream on any kind of character. In the oh, game. Okay. And that would right. actually make a challenge. Right. You know, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's stuff that you don't have to accomplish, but it just adds a little yeah. extra depth to the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. Because it was, I mean, the characters are all sort of animated with uh, physics. Right. They're sort of ragdoll characters, and they, each character has, like, different abilities. And we realize we're just choosing maybe a couple of times for the for the puzzle, but okay. it'll be fun to just play around a bit, bit, a bit more. So right. we added that to it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, really looking forward to this one. Um, again, this is the Handsome Phantom. Check out Flipping Death. Looks like it's coming March of 2018.